we had an earthquake today, or at least there was an earthquake up in Canada, and it seems to have been widely felt uh, in the Stark County area. Well, as, as far as I can tell, it's mostly something that people felt, but I'm not aware of any reports of damage. So in, in terms of the size of the earthquake, I, I'm not sure it's a significant event, uh, but it's certainly one that got a lot of people's attention. There's a number of factors that are going to determine if you're going to feel an earthquake. Uh, typically, people who are on upper floors of buildings will tend to feel the vibrations more than people on ground floors. People who are moving around are less likely to notice an earthquake than people who are sitting still. Also, the local geology can have an effect. Where your building is and what type of rocks or sediments it's sitting on can determine how much the ground actually vibrates. At Mount Union College, we are one of the stations in the Ohio Size Network, which is a network of seismometers machines that are used to measure earthquakes. This is a network throughout the state of Ohio, and uh, it's what's used to locate earthquakes that occur within the state. We also can measure earthquakes that occur outside of the state, which is what happened today. Well, anytime there's a moderate to large size earthquake, there is a chance that there will be aftershocks, but they're usually smaller. I'm not sure there are things that we'd be able to feel uh, in this area. Uh, but earthquakes can occur within Ohio, but again, they tend to have been, at least historically, on the small to moderate size.